Hey guys. It's we're in March. It's the I think it's the twenty second. It's a Wednesday. Can't fight. Can't fight. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you about enemas and jarring and last night we did up some well I think Jason did these I helped him do the other ones these are hot sauces just with tomatoes and onions and garlic and human and cilantro and Roman tomatoes and um, that's the more hotter these are the more milder and this is a carrot apple Roman juice that I did yesterday and I've been nursing it down all morning that was my breakfast and my lunch how are you guys? I think I'm upside down. I haven't made a video in such a long time the one video that I gave some tips on about enemas they, they took it off and I'm like what the heck Everything I said was absolutely true. You want to go out, Pootsie? Pootsie wants to go out. Tell me about it. What do you want? You want out? Pootsie, you want out? Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, to the best of my knowledge, and give you all the facts and the truth about it. I just don't understand why I got knocked off with that one. It doesn't make any sense. It's a beautiful out. Car detailed and clean. You know, I do it myself. Now and then, it's nice to get it done, and get it scrubbed down, and because I removed some stickers on it, so I didn't want that jelly junk. Even the Gooby gone, I couldn't get the stickers off. I still had a few more to get off. Um, I won't show you. I've already been putting too much stuff on YouTube. Unbelievable! It's so beautiful out. You see it? So pretty. Hi, Bootsy. She's out of here. Hi, Patches. Hi. Hi. Pretty girl. Well, hi, baby. She's not in a cage. It's a. Looks like it's a cage there. She's free, right, Patches? She's a stray. <sighs> My basil's looking so sad. It's been repotted. I know it got shocked. But my goodness. Pour some water into it. Rainwater. Look at that pumpkin from Halloween. Holy, that's growing. It's looking sad. That one's doing really good. I repotted some of them in the middle of a rainstorm. So I've got. I gotta blow the front porch. Is what I gotta do. I can't attack. Attack cat. <sighs> We're shipping. Unchip it. Chip it. Do you see these cool pictures? <sighs> And when you do this, right? Okay, um, get back to what I was talking about. This is an, a carrot apple Roman lettuce drink. It's pretty good. I've been living off of it all day. Let's get back to the to chew. I have ground it up coffee. Organic fresh coffee and um, there's dinner tonight um, and what I do is I uh, boil up two quarts of water what kind of water no not just tap water I suggest you use um, filtered water or even distilled water and get the best water you can get. I have a system through my house, plus a backup system underneath the sink, so it's like my water is pretty pure. I make white clear ice cubes. And, um, don't you love the carpenters? Um, I'm looking at some books on tape. I quit a job. I'm still back at selling my books. 
I just feel refreshed that I've unloaded that other awful job. And uh, by the way, hi, it's Kathy. I haven't really made a video in a while, a long while. I'm busy and working and um, like I said, back to the enema. Do you know you can actually um, buy some ready-made enemas, but they use a salt solution in them? You can buy like packs of four and they sell them at your local Walmart. Who would have thought? You open up the box and you pull one out. It does look just like a douche, uh, like a woman's douche container. And you pull the orange, it's usually an orange um, lid off. And it's already lubed for you. Can you believe it's already lubed for you? And you don't do anything to it. You lay down in your bathroom. And um, you can either lay on a pillow on the side, and um, <laughs> you um, erect, erect, is that the word? Okay, while you're laying down, you're going to bend over, of course you're going to be naked, and um, you're going to place it inside your rectum, um, and if you don't get all the water, the salty water in, which I don't think somebody who's doing an enema for the first time is going to do that. It's going to like squeeze it all in at once. Like I said, you're laying down and you're pumping this in slowly. Um, this is the ready-made one. And um, I'm getting a tooth broken on. It hurts. Well, I had that done before, right? Um, isn't it weird how the fibers from carrots and um, juiced uh, fruits and vegetables just cake on your teeth? And I've had a lot of work done to my teeth. I'm taking care of them, but still, they're like falling apart on me after you hit 40. Take care of your teeth and floss, floss, floss. Every tooth you want to keep, floss it. Gee, what does that mean? Floss your teeth. If you learn anything from the elderly people around you, floss your teeth. And I'm sorry if you have, you do not have the delight of hanging out with anybody over 80, or over 70. I'm sorry. Go find someone. Volunteer. Okay, back to what I was saying. Now you're gonna inject this stuff slowly into. Okay, and you're gonna lay down. And you're gonna try to sit for at least five minutes. I would suggest. Why? I know you're gonna have the urge to get up and go to the bathroom. But I, I'm not sure about the salty solution. I don't understand why they picked the salty solution. But then, you know, I'm going off the Gearson thing in Mexico where they're trying to solve cancer. And um, they're doing the coffee enemas, you know, and it's good. It's a detox. It's a cleanser. And if you want to know more about that, please feel free to Google it. Um, I have wax on my one of my teeth. It doesn't cut me. Um, you know, I'm into self remedies. I'm not always looking for doctors to give me all their advice because, believe you me, doctors are not God. We all know that. I mean, look at that. We're all, I'll tell you to go eat. Look at the. the the pyramid of the food thing. It's all wrong. Mm. Okay. Okay. If you have the urge to go, then get up and go. And there's probably still more water. There's not a back drip for these little self things. They're, it's a pretty good idea, but I don't know about the salty, the salt uh, one. I don't know. I've tried them. I haven't had any pain or anything. And um, I guess as it comes with the four packs, you can share it with your family. I recommend that you talk to any of your kids that you're having them do it, and they hopefully they're older than like 10 or 12 or 14, you know. Um, but I know there's a lot of children out there, especially these days, or eating cooked foods, um, and eating meats and dairy and garbage and fast food restaurants that can't go to the bathroom. I mean, they're just think about right here around San Antonio. The um, a meal for us would be like maybe cheese enchiladas. And that's because there's no meat in it. But still, you got all that cheese and it's backing you up. Mucus from the tip of your tongue to the back to your rectum. And there's so many of my friends tell me their children can't go to the bathroom. What do you do? What do you do? I don't recommend, I don't give advice at all. Especially to, um, I mean, if you click on me and you're on YouTube, that's your choice. I don't owe you anything. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving your doctor advice. I'm just telling you my opinion in a blog. YouTube blog. Green peas! Look at our found these old stickers! Um, yeah, I know. I'm off on one thing and to another. But, but guys, with these enemas, I think that is a great thing. These little 
enemas already made up and solutions and ready to go and already lube for you. When I was doing the um, water enemas or the coffee enemas, and not the high enemas, we're not talking about going and getting an enema done, you know, at a place. This is home-based stuff. Um, the ones that I was buying was the, the tube that is a pouch that you can stick water in, almost like an old, um, hmm, how, how would you suggest that? What are those called? I'll think about it like tomorrow. I'll remember this tomorrow. You, you know, you fill the water up in it like an old, get, get, um, people used to use them to keep the bed warm or your feet warm or your back hurting and you fill it up with water. Anyway, I think I've showed you in the last video what to buy. And it comes with the tube. And that's when I mix the, um, and I cook um, that pure clean water, two quarts per two to, th two to three rounded tablespoons of that ground up coffee. And you cook it and you simmer it down. And when, it, when it's cool, it's ready. And you want to fill up the bag half, half full. Get yourself a book. Lay down in your bathroom. Get yourself a pillow. Excuse me. Very good carrots, green apples, Roman lettuce. That's my third one today. I'm trying to detox and get off the garbage food that I, when I was working at this company, I was eating. Um, and like your first one, it's gonna go really quick, just because you've never done it again uh, before. I'm dyslexic. Can you tell I'm rotating everything? <laughs> Terrible. Um, have you seen these really cool quilting shears? They're so cool, right? Pretty neat, huh? I was cleaning out some stuff and I found them the other day. I haven't quilted it in so long. And um, as you're up there in the bathroom, and don't be down on yourself or disappointed if you can't last. Um, when I was learning how to give myself an enema, I was learning from this really great guy. And I know that he's, he says he can read a book and last 30 minutes, you know, with the coffee in you and all that. He's detoxing or trying to clean himself out. I could not last that long. So I got up and I went to the bathroom and I felt like that. I'll tell you, after an enema, I felt terrific. There's, there, I mean, how can I explain it? You know, when you're, when you're juicing fruits and vegetables and you're eating uh, herbs and you're raw and you're not eating cooked foods, you're, the clarity in your mind is crystal. And I can't, I can't tell you enough, unless you do it yourself, or you just do a water fast, and you can think, and you can hear, and you, everything's clear. It's like you're opening up part of your brain that's been asleep for years and years. So what do I always go back to? Juicing again, because not only about the weight loss, there's weight loss. Not, it's the clarity. When your life is screwing up and you're dropping things and you feel like someone's hexed you or you just have some awful luck going on in your life or you just feel lousy or things are happening you can't explain. I always ask, I always believe this. When you ask, you believe you receive. Um, I know you guys probably have all seen that video, The Secret. It's all about asking for something believing you're going to get it, and then you'll receive it. That's just the way the world is. That's that's how I put it out there myself. Not my YouTube plan here. So it's like I always go back to the juicing, making the juices, buying crates of fruits and vegetables, um, making myself feel 100% better. That's that's what I that's what I want to do. That's what I work on trying to do. Um, and it's true what Dan the man quotes he's always saying it's very simple but it's the truth it's just the way it is the answers are fruits and vegetables clear organic is the best frozen isn't so great but like we're here in San Antonio where it's not California I'll go buy frozen uh, berries and put them in a blender and drink that for breakfast with ice and water or like an apple juice, 100% pure, organic. 
five bite eggs, which I'll whip up an egg in my stir fries. Um, I'll use the organic, cage-free chickens. I mean, you look, you know where to look. You know what to buy now. So it's like, I know right from wrong, and I can, I, I don't know how to explain this to you guys. I know you're looking for um, ideas about enemas, but it just goes along with everything else, that cleaning out your body and all this extra weight that I've gained back because I haven't been juicing. I've been eating cooked food, salads, fish. I even went back and ate some shrimp. That's been deep fried. Yeah. So it's like eating cooked potatoes again, even eating Vegetarians can pig out. They really can. I go to a, a restaurant here called Green. I think they're working on the third restaurant. It's about the only vegetarian place in town, practically. But um, one thing my husband got, he got this huge order of their uh, french fries with their uh, vegetarian um, chili. But you still have real cheese on there instead of soy. And you're eating cooked potatoes. I know we're vegetarians and that is considered a vegetarian dish, but it's still not raw. You get it? I know, I get it, and I still do it. It's hard. It's very hard. Nobody ever said this was going to be easy. And I yo-yo. I go back and forth and back and forth, but I always end up back to the juicing. And I can't explain it to you, and I, I can, I mean, I can explain it to you, and I can go in great details and I can refer you to go watch their videos or read their books. But until you do it, until you make the decision you want to live like this, live the rest of your life drinking something out of a straw, you need to make the right choices. Before I think I told you, I got off of the um, antidepressants, cholesterol diabetic pills. I mean, there's a whole laundry list of drugs that I was on to survive, and they were making me feel like crap. There's so much side effects. My natural blonde hair was falling out. I mean, it's so thin still to this day from, from these side effects of all these rotten drugs that these pharmacies and doctors want us, pump us, pump us, these pump us asses, haha, <laughs> want us to take. Because it's all about the money. Cancer is worth a lot of money, right? The big C is worth tons of money. We're not. We're a number. We're a number living in this world. I don't know how to explain it any more than that. We're just a number. We're just money to these doctors and people. Um, I know some of you are saying, well, I've been with my doctor forever. He's so wonderful. If he was so wonderful and in touch with the real world, if he's real, he'll tell you that fruits and vegetables are the way to change your life, especially if you're obese. And I'm talking, you're five foot eleven and you weigh over two hundred fifty pounds. You're obese. You're five foot two and you weigh one sixty, one seventy. You're obese. You're you're fat. You've got rolls. You know. It's like at 190, you're probably five, maybe six foot. I mean, obese has even changed. I mean, skirt sizes and all that have changed. I mean, I'm just trying to explain, give you some ideas. Um, I remember going to a gym. I was like 23. And my girlfriend was telling me and describing how to do these wait lists and all this. And we were pushing these buttons and we were weighing in. I've never been seen the world obese before, and she explained it to me. Because back then, I was like, I had my first daughter, Elizabeth, and she was a big baby. She was eight, four, and I must have gained 60 pounds with her at my first pregnancy. Scared to death, didn't know what to eat. I lived off um, sugary, crappy cereals. They were called fruity, I'll tell you, that's what they were. And then um, they look like little pebbles. Get it? Got it? Anyway, I lived off that crap and I gained so much weight. And I was a natural thin person who could eat anything all the time or rarely ate. There was times I just didn't eat. 
growing up because I grew up with smokers, parents who smoked cigarettes, so you had no appetite. You had a natural deterrent from food, huh? Yes, I grew up with smokers. Stepfather who was an alcoholic off and on. You say off and on, what does that mean? Off and on means he'd go nine years without drinking anything. And the moment he starts, he's back back doing a stupid crap being an alcoholic. That's what I mean by off, um, off and on. Um, anyway, so I gained 60 pounds with my first child. And so when I weighed in at this gym, they called me obese. probably my whole life and I think I dropped like 30 pounds having her you know naturally 24 then it was like and then I got back in shape but um I was never that size um eight anymore seven eight I think about a seven eight I'm lucky to see uh, a 14 or a 15 to this day I mean I had two more kids after that and I spread out we're never our high school size unless you're starving yourself I don't know I don't want to be my high school size at this age. I mean, I watched Jason, my husband, lose a bunch of weight at one time with the juicing, which is great. He's kept most of it off, but then he started eating cooked foods again. And, um, like I said, cheese enchiladas or flour tortillas and still being a vegetarian, but adding that crap back into our lives and chips and salsa. And uh, his weight loss and his face made him look very old. That's why he, he's joined the gym now and he's adding free weights to it and like he'll get on the treadmill and work out. I'm just, I don't know where I'm trying to get to at this point and I, I hope that I was able to help you a little bit with the enemas. Um, I think it's really meaningful that you take care of yourself and make your life, your body, your first hobby. I don't have, I, I'm just lost for words right now, but I hope that you all get, get on this bandwagon and try to make your body the best it can be. It's your temple. And please don't do what I've been doing, yo-yoing back and forth, back and forth, because I know right from wrong. I think I showed you this in my last video, that these are great to uh, help with your uterus and body functions for females, females women health, it's vegetarian as well. Black Hocus, C-O-H-O-S-H, -O -S -H. and um, it helps me regulate. Remember I was having all those problems with my uterus? It was four times the size, that's why my belly looks so big. It's four times the size. I'm like a four month pregnant woman. Like I'm four months pregnant. I got a hair or something there. Wow. Um, and all this time it's been about my uterus being swollen. And, um, ooh, I look so tired. We have a new mattress, and it's very firm. I'm trying to get used to that from that other mattress. is crazy! I really enjoy it. I'm trying to think of something else I can show you guys, something new. I really can't think of anything right now. I should put some mascara on. Um, but guys, if you have any questions, just feel free to email me and I can get online and give you some pointers. Like I always recommend and I always tell everyone, the best videos to start out with are Dan McDonald's. <sighs> Dan McDonald. I'm always giving him a thumbs up. Um, I'll get this loaded up today and I hope you guys have a blessed um, March. And what are we looking at today? The 21st of March. And it's a beautiful day out. Get out and do something fun. If you're getting off work, before you go in the house, put all your stuff down and just walk around your house. I don't know. Get out and do something. Smell the fresh air. If it's raining, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, this is Kathy. And uh, what does she always say? Get your, get your greens on. Thanks. Bye.